dish. Uh, it's uh, a linguine aragosta, aragosta which is basically uh, linguine with um, lobster um, uh, but obviously I'm not going to be using lobster. Uh, I'm going to be using a type of mushroom. It's actually called lion's mane and we'll take a look at that in a few moments. Um, but lion's mane mushroom is uh, a mushroom that does have a flavour of the sea and it's got the texture of well, in between lobster and monkfish. Um, so very, very versatile. Um, we're gonna use uh, an old grain uh, uh, linguine with this, and I'm gonna be making a vegan version of a, a bisque, um, and that's gonna be uh, served uh, with, uh, with the pasta. Um, enjoy. So let me just take you through the different ingredients that are gonna go into the dish. Um, it's clearly going to be a little bit of salt and pepper that goes in there. I've got a nice San Manzano tomato. Uh, I've got some sweet paprika. Uh, you'll see how that's going to be used. It's going to be used in the bisque. It's also going to be used for the mushrooms. I've got some plant-based butter. I've got some cashew milk uh, that I've just blitzed down. So it's just literally filtered water and fresh cashews. Uh, I've got some uh, whole grain uh, linguine some nutritional yeast. Um, I've got my vegan parmesan, which is basically nutritional yeast and almonds. Uh, I've made a interesting liquid made of uh, seaweed and kelp, so nori and kelp, basically a reduced down uh, water because I didn't really want the green, but I wanted the flavor of the sea. And then I'm, I'm going to use some uh, tomato puree and a little vermouth and these very strange little things, um, which are lion's mane, and it's a, a type of mushroom. It's a little bit furry. It's classed as a little, it's called a lion's mane because of its furriness. Um, but cooked down, that does have a taste of um, of lobster. So let's start. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my uh, pan of water on right at the back. I'm going to. As per normal when I'm using doing pasta, put in some salt. Uh, you kind of want this salt, as I've mentioned in the past, to have the flavor of the sea. Um, I'm then going to take a little bit of butter. Um, or in butter. This particular one I want this to start foaming on this particular one I want this just to gently cook while that's cooking um, I'm going to get a little tomato and these are really lovely tomatoes fantastic for uh, making your tricolore salads um, so your uh, lovely salad with um, avocado and basil and you can use vegan mozzarella with this as well I'm going to de-seed these because I don't really want the seeds. I want just the skin, the outer part of the, the tomato. Nice and easy to de-seed. Just want to chop this down. So I'm just going to put that down. And 
this is going to form part of our sauce. into the sauces, uh, the sauce, and uh, they're going to be wrapped around the pasta. And then the, the one I've saved is, a, is, is going to be right on the top of the dish. Because if you think about when lobster is cooked, it actually goes a little red. And what type of paprika are you using? This is sweet paprika. Uh, so I'm using a really nice Spanish sweet paprika. with a little bit of smoked salt. Oh, just a little bit. Give it a bit and you can see now my my water's boiling. I'm going to take this is a really quick dish. Um, I'm going to take some of the weenie. Don't amount to the weenie. I'm going to do it for two people. By all means you can double the amount. And you'll find, by the way, I mean, you may not be able to grab hold of um, this, this particular mushroom. It's quite seasonal. It's actually in season at the moment. Um, but uh, if you can't get hold of that, um, then a meaty mushroom, uh, like, a, uh, like a grey oyster, which is far more popular at the moment, would do perfectly fine. But if you can get hold of this, this will make a real big difference to, your, to the flavour of your dish. We're going to also pop these in. I might put a little bit more you get butter in there. Don't worry too much about the vegan butter because it's not going to sink in. It's only going to allow this to, to cook through. Okay. 
Now while these are cooking through, I'm going to pop in some vermouth. And let that cook through. I'm going to turn this down a touch now. You can see the lovely colours that are coming through. is really taking up the colour of the, the vegan lobster. There we go, this is coming through. That's smelling really nice. Now we're going to add in a little bit of our sea kelp, our sea flavour, and a little bit of here as well. tomato puree in here this is it is after all meant to be a bisque six minutes so not very long at all. Let's just power that a little bit. And now I'm going to add some good rosé. I've got a, a nice rosé already open. Um, so I'm going to uh, definitely go with that. I'll come to that in a few seconds. Um, it's always nice to have a nice rosé when, uh, when it's a dish like this. So you can see now that this is starting to come with like a pink hue in there. So that's ready to go. That's ready to be warmed up now. 
we're not a million miles away from, from being done. So I'll tell you about the wine. So I've been uh, slurping away a little earlier at this lovely one called Cafe Terrassa, uh, uh, Côte de Provence. Um, it's got a fantastic taste. It's a real dry taste of strawberries um, and uh, lovely summer berries. Glass, so I have a pre-prepared glass in the style of Floyd. And this will go perfect with it, because let's remember, just imagine you're sat in Nice, a lovely Italian restaurant in Nice, and uh, all of a sudden you decided to have this dish. So this is like slightly underripe strawberries. So you've got a lovely tangy, tangy sourness of the strawberry, which is just going to cut through perfectly, cut through perfectly in our dish. Okay. So let's start warming these up, and I'm going to, I'm going to take these out and pop them on a, a piece of paper. Lovely. Thank you. It's uh, we aim to please, as they say. It is quite a rich dish, um, and what you'll see in a moment is I'm going to utilize this, this pan. I thought I'd have more oil in here than I did, but I don't, so I'm going to swap pans. all those lovely flavours into my sauce. You can see where this is going to go, don't you? Because guess where my pan is going to go as soon as it's ready. <laughs> and I'm going to pop in, not the larger pieces, they're going to go right at the very, very end. But the smaller pieces. My, uh, my dish straight in here. And they're going to go in through. Now we wait for that pasta to uh, cook all the way through. Sauce. It certainly will be a thick sauce as soon as that pasta hits it. Pasta needs a, a little bit more time here. And then, uh, and then we're all good. We're good to go. Um, and I'm going to plate these in some really nice black plates. And the colours of these will, will, will really, really make a difference. Um, and um, I'll be popping the res recipe of this um, on my website, um, probably uh, during the course of tomorrow. And then by all means, as I say, I've made this roughly for two people. Actually, it's more likely for three people. Um, but um, you, know, you, can, you can always multiply it and make it for four or six. It's a nice little quick party meal, but it does taste delicious. By the way, I've also got a little bit of my vegan parmesan right at the very, very end. I'm going to put that just on top of the pasta and then I'm going to lay these on top. Um, part of me was thinking about, uh, you can get vegan caviar, place on the top of that to give it an even nicer look. If I find some in a few moments in, in our fridge, we do have some, um, then I, I may even put that on the top as well, just to give it that little bit of uh, extra, uh, presentation. It's not quite ready yet. A couple of moments. As you can see, it's thickening up. I could 
really coat the pasta well. Don't worry too much if it, if it over thickens, we still have some of the pasta water here that will go in. And that will help reduce it down and give it that nice finish right at the very, very end. This is really, really nice linguine. There's plenty of different ones you can get out there. I decided to try and get more for a very old established, established Italian name. Make uh, small amounts of pasta. Fantastic. Here, let's bring that across. Let's bring the plate across. to make that funny noise. So I'm going to just now get some of this lovely lobster-esque sauce here. I'll tidy this up in a moment. Oops, that shouldn't have happened. Vegan lobster pasta. 